So at IFA you were talking about phones. So where have we gone since then? So uh, we built flexible displays with matrix um, uh, material uh, in smaller formats as well uh, that, that are much more suited for phone type applications. Here's a real e-ink display with an image that we put on a while ago. There's nothing connected. You can see the image is retained for a very long time. That's the way we achieve low power uh, and very, very thin. And uh, we have now started deploying these in phones. So you can take a display like this and you can put a, um, a cover and make a module out of this very rugged, uh, literally, uh, virtually indestructible. And we can create two types of mobile phone application. Uh, the first type that I will explain here is imagine you can put an e-ink display as a main display in a phone. This is an Android phone. It's a real phone. It's a real display. and. Um, the idea here is you can enhance your battery um, life. So uh, when, when you charge it, you can literally get this first design, we can get a week's worth of use uh, because of our display technology. Unlike LCD, it consumes much less power. Um, the idea is to improve the performance of this entire device, optimize it so that the battery will last for several weeks rather than uh, several hours in the case of uh, traditional phones. So this is functional? Does it? Uh... It is a functional. Uh, I have not switched this on. I just wanted to give you a static image to show you, but it is definitely functional. And I can, I can show you that you can dial numbers. You can see the response is very, very good. Well, that's not a... So this is, this is prototype. This is like early prototype. It's not... Uh... It's an early prot prototype. e -Ink wanted to show the concept and eventually these kind of devices will be launched by uh, mobile phone companies that will have real products. This is just a prototype that we wanted to show the proof of concept that we can indeed put an e-ink display in a mobile phone and it will last for a week yeah. uh, on a single battery charge. Extremely thin. It's extremely thin. We can make it even thinner uh, using our technology. Like I said, we didn't quite optimize it. We just wanted to show proof of concept and uh, and get market feedback. And that's what we're doing uh, with this um, main display. And this is not the first time. We've deployed something similar with uh, uh, Motorola. There was a Moto phone that was launched a few years ago, and uh, it was a uh, very interesting product. Um, we can also take the same idea, an e-ink display, and make a dual display phone. So uh, here's your LCD, um, like, a, you know, like a traditional smartphone, and you now have a secondary display, which is an e-ink display on the other side. What this does is there are a number of applications where LCD is not suited because it consumes too much power. And you can move those applications to e-paper. For example, when you want to read, uh, you can move the uh, text content to the e-ink display and read it on the e-ink display rather than on LCD. Similarly, I have an example here of you can put uh, stock information if you're uh, checking stock or your boarding pass. Um, when you go to the airport, if you're running out of battery, uh, you don't have to panic. Even when there is absolutely no power left on the battery, the e-ink display will hold the um, uh, the boarding uh, pass information, basically the um, uh, the barcode, and you can scan that and use that for that purpose. You can also put coupons on it. You can put um, um, uh, text messages. You can put a lot of data, uh, including uh, another uh, interesting application, which would be today all phones uh, pretty much turn off and they're blank because uh, LCDs consume a lot of power. Uh, in the future, you can put a picture, uh, maybe the picture of uh, your pet or your child or, uh, or your favorite place, and that can remain there consuming zero power. And it will hold that image for many, many days or months, and that's another very useful feature. Now, this display is extremely thin very rugged and uh, um, we can put them either on the display or on either on the phone or we can put them uh, on a cover that goes on the phone so a lot of different applications we believe in 2013 we'll have some very interesting applications we uh, when we announced this product at the IFA show in Berlin, I hinted about a customer. That customer is Yoda Devices out of Russia. And they've already announced their product. And uh, uh, following this, you will see a demonstration of the Yoda phone. This is a prototype. You will see the actual Yoda phone that's been built, designed, and it's in the process of uh, 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 undergoing uh, software upgrades and enhancements before it will be launched later on this year. It can totally be mass manufactured this year. Correct. It will be mass manufactured this year.
And what is the exact size of this one? Uh, this is a 4.3 inch diagonal display and uh, so pretty much we can make displays of different diagonal sizes. 4.3 is what we've chosen for this particular application. As you know, we've made displays as uh, large as 40 inch diagonal with uh, glass-based 